You won, didn't you? Please, Captain, don't kill us. Take us prisoners. Don't be a bastard. I don't want to take prisoners. The jails in the north are too crowded already. I put down my gun! Uh, that's a stupid thing to do. I can't shoot through a stone wall, so come out and get it over with. I'm gonna murder that bastard. surrender to you. Ain't that enough? You want us to get down on our knees and beg for mercy? You want mercy? <coughs> One less coward. These men aren't cowards. They don't want to be killed, Captain. They want to live. They were ready to die for what they believed in. They fought like heroes. And they surrendered. Are you... Really a doctor, or one of those cowards, disguised. I'm trying to help a little. I see. A righteous hypocrite. They are the worst there is. What's your excuse? No. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. No, please. I don't wish you no harm. I never killed anybody. I, I'm wounded. They're going to send me home. You're here to help, aren't you? Come on. Use the gun. Show the man mercy. A well-aimed bullet is the best way. It's painless. No. And it's quick. Shoot. No. Very quick. Kid, kill a bastard, kid. Before he kills us all. Tempted? A chance to prove you've got guts after all. Go ahead, pull the trigger. Kid, do it. Shoot him. Shoot me. Kid, shoot. <laughs> I 
I surrendered. I'm wounded. I'm not going to do any more fighting. All I want now is to go home again. Goddamn southern traitors! Getting there, sonny boy. Your aim is really handsome, but you're still too slow on the draw. You gotta get the gull down thing out there faster than you do, or you a dead man. You gotta handle your gun the way you handle a lady. Hold her too loose, she gets away from you. Hold her too tight, she misfires. Just for practice, I want to see you hit that button. <laughs> You'd practice sooner. We would have beat the North. <laughs> we would have, you're right. Now it's a waste of time. Except to kill turkeys. I can't waste time on birds. I'm busy being a ranger. <laughs> Want to join us? Wait a minute. Can't. My friends here are getting ripe. sit square in the saddle any more than a two-year-old can ride a bronc. If you don't break your ass doing that, I'll break it for you. And you're all just as bad. There ain't one of you here with half of what it takes to be a ranger. You can't ride. Your miserable shots just look at you. Here, I'll prove it to you. Come on, hit me. Come on, you ape sucker, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn how to box. Now we'll try once again, but use your head and keep your guard up. Come on, get up. Come and get me. Yes, <laughs> see? Anyone else like to try? Huh? You bunch of softies. You. Go ahead and hit me. Uh-huh. 
So you took my advice. <laughs> Tastes like someone washed in it. Try it. Mm -mm. Don't expect to get whiskey. <laughs> You're a baptized ranger. <laughs> That's the way money ought to look. The U.S. government prints the best there is, share and share alike. There you go, Max. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. And we'll keep you in mind, buddy, when we hear of another bank that needs cleaning out. Bueno. Kid, what are you after? I'm not a kid. He's a ranger. Yep. You're coming along now. Dead or alive. Thanks for the invitation, kid. But I got a reputation for being antisocial. Now, oh, how about that? You're antisocial. One size fits everybody. Now, whether you like it or not, I'm bringing you all in. You just come and do that, kid.
Good going. It's beginner's luck. You get 500 apiece for those three. <laughs> yeah, at that rate, you'll have a nice little pile of money salted away in no time. <laughs> I'll need it someday to catch bigger fish than these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, John! Kit Johnson. Hey, Johnson! <laughs> Couple more like it. Uh, mm. John Clark and his boys. Yep. I arrested them. Killed them, you mean? Isn't that your work? Just carrying out orders. Like it says on the poster, dead or alive. Uh, you poaching again? Hell no. I saw these by the side of the road. Yeah, I'll bet. I shot these in memory of a friend. He was from Turkey. <laughs> well, that's different. Sorry about your friend. Rest in peace, huh? What's that? He's not gonna rest in peace. He's alive and flapping. <laughs> hey, kid. Well, look who's here. How you been, Captain? Never better. <laughs> Who'd you bring back this time? Oh, a big one. John Clark and his boys. Heaven have mercy on their soul. Well, it's too late for that. They're in hell. Here, burn these. Well, Captain? May I remind you of what you promised me? You mean leave of absence? You'd like to spend a few days back home in Springfield, wouldn't you? That's right. You can go, but I want you to tidy up a little business for me while you're there. A bunch of renegades are raising holy hell in those parks, scaring folks off their land. See what you can do. Have a good time, get some rest, and bring me back a pile of stiffs. Yeah. Well, I'll try to do that. Good luck. Thanks. So Turner's out and we're in. Next, we join this land to Ballers. Good pasture land and the river. And get our hands on these hills here, which means we persuade Burton and Carson to sell. And I can say honestly, it's not going to take much time. We'll own it all when the railroad goes through here. Supposing they don't let you buy it, what happens then? There are ways to persuade people. Everyone has his little weakness, remember, and his little temptations. Find out what they are, and he's yours. If you buy, you're going to have to pay. 
Where do you expect to get a hold of such a large sum? You're a banker. You ought to know about things like that. The Springfield Bank doesn't do much business. It'll be hard for me to transact many more loans. That problem is entirely in your hands, Porter. I don't care what you do. There you go. Two thousand dollars. Thanks for the bargain. A gift you mean, don't you? No, it's all his. That's right. <laughs> and he's grateful to you. <laughs> you and your boys have been real generous, Watkins. <laughs> Mr. Grayson's grateful to you, too, Sheriff. Everything's above board when there's a witness like you around. <laughs> okay, boys. Let's go. Ah, ha! Wait a minute, you're forgetting one thing. It's all above board when there's a witness like you around. You saw how they threatened us, didn't you? I wouldn't do that, Watkins. The contract belongs to me, Sheriff. Get it. So everything's legal, Sheriff. Grayson's well within the law when he offers to buy land from you. The hell he is. He makes his offers at gunpoint. He told me he was worried about us. Afraid we'd end up like Watkins. He's a blackmailer. He wants us to give him money so he can protect us. I'm scared. Don't sell. Whatever he threatens, don't sell. That's what I say. And if we stick together, we can use force. I'm not sure about that. Those boys of his open fire. So and... what? We fire back. Now don't get excited, boys. Keep it within the law. Everything can be straightened out, but you gotta remember these things take time. Grayson's not getting my land. He keeps telling me I'll be getting a good price, and he's trying to make me sell. The same with me. But don't you do it, Arthur. I swear to you, me and my boy ain't selling no matter what. Oh. Wake up, son. The party's about to begin. I wouldn't want you to miss anything. <laughs> you think we can convince him? Yes, Burton should really be thinking of selling to us by now. <laughs> He's here, it's Burton. <laughs> Somebody could get hurt, huh? <laughs> Now, about that business we were discussing. What have you done with my son? First, we straighten out the formalities. Yeah? I'm paying you far too much for nothing but sand and stones. 
But then, I promised, and I'm a man of my word. Is it a bargain? My I son. said there's a paper to sign. Step this way. <laughs> These are witnesses and our legal representatives. Mr. Burton. Gilbert, oh, I'm dying. Here's your little boy, all in one piece. Bastard. Unfortunately, he has a few scratches that he got playing with the cat, but he's young, he'll heal up in no time. Get down my baggage, would you please? Those three large trunks, and that little one, too. I'm staying here, so please bring those right in. Okay. Thanks. Yes, of course I have. You'd like the best, wouldn't you? Shall I sign? Yes. There you are. Kit Johnson. This is a coincidence. We went to school together, but I wouldn't have recognized you dressed like that. I've been to college. It makes changes in a man. Your folks moved out of town. That's right. I just wanted to see the place again. Nostalgia, I guess. Garçon, the gentleman's luggage goes up to 20. Very nice perfume for Madame. Don't tell me you wear it. I sell it. That's how I know. Hi there. Well, this is a pleasure. Ricky, give us something to drink. I suppose you drink. Did I do? You fixed the place up? Yes, we keep up to date as much as we can. <laughs> but the town stays pretty much the same? We'll never see it change. Nothing new has happened here in a dog's age. <laughs> what the hell are you folks waiting for inside there? I want all of you out here, all of you. You want to wait till it's too late? Get out here! We're gonna settle accounts with Grayson once and for all. He killed my boy to get my land away from me. Are you gonna help her, aren't you? Bunch of sheep. He'll drive you out of here one by one if you let him. Come on. Help me. All of you. Put a stop to Grayson before he kills us all the way he killed my son, you hear? Well, finally, something's happening. Remember what happened to Watkins and his boys? Now the same thing has happened to my son. Grayson! Come back, don't go away. You won't murder anybody again. What's the matter? I already paid you for that piece of land. No, it's not that you murdered my son. You'll stoop to anything to possess our land. But now, Grayson, I'm gonna kill you. Defend yourself, you filthy skunk! I'm ready. Positive you can kill me? Come on, prove it. Can you? You should be able to hit your target from there. Can you?
Salva pacatis tu in nomine patris et filii et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Let us pray. Please help us, dear God, to bear hardship at the hands of our enemies. Kid! This can't be true! Brown! Hey! Well... What are you doing in that getup? God knows you're a fine critter to talk like that, Kit. Now, where's your pistol? Or have you forgotten my lessons? Around here, a good Christian keeps a gun handy. What's the matter with you, boy? Want to die young? Keep your blessings for decent men, Padre. Don't waste them on skunks like Burton. Criminals like that aren't worth prayers. The Padre's just doing his job, and doing it very well. You saw the man deliberately instigate a duel. He made me shoot. Nobody can say it wasn't entirely legal. I didn't see anything. That doesn't matter. There are plenty who did. What's going on? Legitimate defense. He was crazy. Is that so? He That's right. He didn't sound crazy. You better clean your ears out and get a pair of glasses. We cum gladio ferret, cum gladio parrot. No, I see enough as it is, without glasses. And my hearing is very good, without cleaning my ears. Let me ask just one question. I'd like to know why you picked our little town to stay in. To see some old friends. Old friends are the best kind. I hope we'll meet again. Of course, we will. Of course. And I know it'll be a pleasure to have you as a friend. I think we've met already. I'm positive, but where? You're right. We have already met. Don't you remember? Bye now. We're one client, more or less. Them's hard words, Mabel. He was a fine man. He sure was. You see that, Clem? Carson, you're crazy. Your ranch, your land, your crops, aren't worth half of what I can offer. Is that so? It's no bargain. I'll try again. I'll make another offer to you. I've been thinking about getting married. In my opinion, the girl's pretty. It's up to Nora. Only the livestock here is for sale. You good folks keep this up, and my boys are going to get nervous. I want your land, Carson, and I'm going to have it. We're not selling, Mr. Grayson. Stay out of this, Elizabeth. You're in no position to argue. It's Kit Johnson. Hi there. Kit, it's wonderful to see you. Come over here. To think that when I last laid eyes on you, you were just a little boy. That's right. I guess I've changed a lot, but you haven't. <laughs> Arthur! Great to see you, Kit. You're really quite a dandy. Around here, you don't need a walking stick. You need a gun. Recognize that girl over there? Huh? Nora! Uh, Nora! Uh, <laughs> well, look at you, Miss Carson. I grew up while you were away, just for a surprise. How about it, Kit? Did I do okay? Yeah, great. <laughs> By the way, I brought you back a oh. present. Uh, it's from Prince. Paris. The best. I'm sure it is, kid. Mr. Johnson knows all about pleasing the ladies. He understands perfumes. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Grayson, Thanks, this is... Carson. We've already met. Uh, that's right. We've met already. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it seems our interests are different, aren't they? I buy perfumes, and you buy land. Land, and more land. 
Yes, because I like space to get around in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so do I. But otherwise, we're different. I'm nothing but a small-time dealer in perfume, while you're in high finance. Yes, high finance is the area that interests me. I've always been successful and uh, ambitious. <laughs> so I've heard you want to build a railroad through here. That's very nice. My congratulations. You're well informed for a newcomer. The idea is to make Springfield the commercial center of the state. All the livestock going east will be shipped from here. And if you own the land, you'll be sitting pretty. Everyone in the area will profit by it. I was trying to convince Carson here to come in with me, but I can't seem to make a deal. <laughs> Do you remember the fable about the lamb who joined forces with a lion, but in the end lost his life? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Maybe you and I could get together at the saloon. Perhaps for a little game of poker. Gladly. Uh, uh, now that I think of it... Um... Oh, at your service. Please. There's a uh, Mr. Baller who'd like to see you at the saloon. Uh, not for poker, but to sell his land. He didn't seem very happy about it. I can change his mind on that score. <laughs> I imagine you're forceful at uh, convincing a person. Kid? Yeah? Look. Do you remember? Oh. This is Valiant. Uh, why, of course, Valiant, so it is. <laughs> when I left, he was just a little fella. <laughs> he won't let anybody but me in the saddle. <laughs> He's terrible. Your horse has good sense. Would you like him? Sure. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> if Val is not careful, he'll end up like Burton, free from strife and six feet under. You're not gonna let that happen, are you, kid? Why, Padre Brown, are you advising me to stick my nose into somebody else's affairs? Why not? Someone's got to stand up to Grayson. To tell the truth, I wouldn't mind doing it myself. In a friendly, Christian kind of way, you understand. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Balor! Come out! The boys aren't going to shoot you. We just want you to sign a contract. I'm not selling my life to Grayson! Open up, Balor, or you'll regret it. sign your damn contract. You can have the ranch, the house, it's all yours. We're getting out. Don't be silly, Valor. Grayson only buys the land. You can stay here and work. You can go to hell. to sell.
full house. for joining you? What do you say? Sit down. You play very well. Cards? It's more than just poker, I'll bet. You're the kind who succeeds when you're playing at love. I can take care of myself, but I've been told my game could use a little improvement. <laughs> Romeo, let's play. Cut. me a cheating bastard, especially when they've got a price on their heads like you all. A price I wouldn't mind having. You're pretty quick on the trigger. What's your name? You the sheriff? Lee Grayson. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have asked your permission. They were your men. Do you do this for pleasure? A hobby, shall we say? Is that your reason to kill? No, to make an honest buck. That's what I imagine. May I ask your name, mister? <laughs> People call me Dollars because... A dollar saved my life once. <laughs> and your name, ma'am? I'm called Mabel. What's all the shooting? Lord, he loves us. I'm glad you're here, Sheriff. Just another case of legitimate defense. Is he insinuating that my men were fugitives from justice? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. <laughs> yep. It's entirely legal. That's music to my ears. Add on those three I delivered earlier. Let me see, that makes 1,800. <laughs> when can you get me the money, huh? <laughs> Ricky. Call me the undertaker. 
oh, right away. Wait. I'm loco about a good funeral. I'll take care of it. And lots of flowers. All right. <laughs> I was told that your place was very, very amusing. Yes, and for special customers, I do all I can. All you can? Not one customer's complained yet. And you won't either, I know. I'm beginning to think that I know who that man was who protected Bella. Of course, it could be our friendly killer here. I'm sure it was him. It could be somebody else. Well, he's a good suspect. Maybe, but you're to find out for sure who was at Bala's last night. Listen. Watch Dollars. He could be the one who messed things up for us. Be sure you don't let him out of your sight. about a little something to drink for our hero. <laughs> Back to work. On your feet now. There's a mess of work to do today, so look sharp. Stop what you're doing, all of you. Who is the boss here? Who authorized this construction? The railroad is not going to pass through here. What you're building is a violation of the law. Do you hear? Stop work. These are orders from Mr. Grayson. Take all of your equipment and clear out of here, or it's going to be trouble. You hear me? Clear out. Get moving. Stop what you're doing, you hear? You've got no right to be here. Pack up your trash and get out. What the hell do you think you're doing? Stop this work. I'm just out. doing the job. The tracks ain't gonna pass this way. I'm not the boss here. I'm just the head of the work crew. Hired by the property owners. Property owners. Liar. Ah. Are you a property owner? No, I just work here. The whole area is under the control of the West Company. Oh. The West Company? Uh -huh. I'll see about that. Come in, gents. Who are you looking for? Who's in charge here? Uh, can I take your hat? There's a gent to see you. Excuse me, sir. There's a gent here to see you. I might have guessed it. it'd be you. That's right. <laughs> Grayson, do you remember now where we met? I didn't come here to fool around. You owe me an explanation. What the hell is this all about? Why, can't you figure it out? I got the idea from you, Grayson. Perfume. Mascara. Women's underwear. What kind of work is that? But land. Land is money and more money, as you ought to know. I want to be rich, that's all. <laughs> When I was a boy, my father used to say, find out how the boss makes money and you'll make money. <laughs> About the land. My reason in coming here is to buy it. All of it? Absolutely. Well, 
How much can you pay? Plenty. <laughs> First, I'll have to uh, talk with my partners. Partners? Of course, partners. The owners have formed a kind of uh, corporation. I don't like the smell of the West Company. These partners will hear from me. You're all messing around with the wrong man, and you'll regret it. Propitius esto exaudi nos domine. Ab omni malo libera nos domine. Ab omni peccato libera nos domine. Ab ira tua. Hey there, Padre. <laughs> my son, come in. I'm saying my prayers right now, but no matter. You're welcome. Fire? Padre Brown! Well, that's what you think. He's no priest. Take a look. He's a fake. <laughs> but how many men have you been fighting? It was four against one. Why not? A perfume salesman can fight if he has to. Come on, let's go find the undertaker. <laughs> go ahead, laugh. If they're dead, it's because of you. You rascal. <laughs> I didn't give him my cassock. There's still one somewhere. Anyway, now we sit and wait for Grayson to make the next move. He's not the type to quit. And he'll do something drastic to get the West Company out of his way. He'll use force this time, and we've got to be ready. Don't worry, he can't win. We're smarter than he is. and We've got the good Lord on our side. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Kid, I can't explain now. It's serious. Oh, no, what is it? You've got to Wait. come. Hurry. Hurry. Nora, wait. Get my gun. Here they are. Nice going, little girl. Well, Mr. Johnson, nice to see you. Throw your gun down, big man. Or they get it. Oh. Pay for that. Oh. Grayson would like you to go back to the perfume business. Get up! Mess around where you're not needed. Next time I won't be so gentle. Let's go. You'll all hang for this. 
Get the alcohol. Nora, get bandages. It's all over. You'll be all right, son. We're not beaten yet. And we're going to fight back. You see what's happened? The railroad's using armored wagons to protect the workers. How are you going to get around that? I've decided to buy out the West Company. I'll offer to buy at a higher price. That's ridiculous. They want too much. Unless you can lay hands on a sum of money like that arriving from St. Louis. What are you getting at? You heard what I said. This is no loan to the bank. <laughs> this is way beyond what I've been hoping. <laughs> I get the money that's meant to pay for the building of the railroad straight across the state to the end of the line. Ah. And you mean tomorrow this money will get deposited in your bank? Yes, I may claim that honor. My bank <laughs> is the safest around. <laughs> A special stage of the Wells Fargo. Left St. Louis yesterday and tomorrow morning it should get into town. And before it does, our boys will meet it. You be careful. There's an escort with it. It's mere child's play. The boys know what to do. Maybe, but let's not arouse suspicion. If anything goes wrong, it means my bank could be ruined. Keep your shirt on, Porter. Nobody could possibly suspect your bank. Yeah. We'll wait at Carson's Pass. Uh-huh. That's okay. <laughs> I'll bet our Mr. Grayson is crazy with worry by now and thinking up some wild scheme. Yep. Now he's dealing with a united group of men instead of only single ranchers. That about finishes all that pressure. It means he's been beaten. And when the railroad's completed, everyone will have his land again. And all our good fortune is due to you. <laughs> Thanks. But now we must get to Grayson and spy on his movements and forestall him. Kit, it's difficult to spy on anyone around here. Grayson's got them all under his thumb. Naturally, nobody trusts the sheriff. He's the worst of the lot. Listen to me, old lord. What are you muttering? I ask you to pardon me, lord, if I sin. Just once, huh? But look, my friend, the best thing to do is go to the saloon and ask that young lady. I think her name is Mabel, if she'll help you. She's very close to Grayson and knows about everything he does. She could get you the inside information. She's a, I mean, a nice girl. I get it. You think I ought to pretend I'm head over heels in love with her, right? Well, we don't have to go that far. That's a very pleasant idea. And with your blessing, I'll do it. Why, you whistling, kid? You're only doing this for the information, right? Yes, the information. My son, careful that you don't fall into mortal sin. The lady isn't a bad girl, but she's just unfortunate. Her sense of morality should allow her to see the light. Are you sure you trust her? She could betray you. Well, I'm gonna have to risk that. Kid, if I can help you in any way or give you advice, believe me, I've had a lot of experience with women like Mabel. Oh, have you now? No, don't misunderstand. I mean experience of a professional sort. In trying to help these misguided girls return to the narrow path. I envy you. But watch out, Padre Brown. You're exposed to temptation on all sides. God help you if you slip. <laughs> I thought your only interest was perfumes, kid. Hmm. No, uh, you don't want to wear that. It's very strong. <laughs> it's a perfume for men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you uh -huh. treat every customer you get the way you treat me? Oh. Or do you really like me? Of course. You like Grayson? I don't consider Grayson so special. You're much better. I hope you're planning to see me again. Is that right? 
I can use protection. I depend on Grayson. He's my protector. Yes. I can see that. Everyone in town is afraid of him. But I wonder if a man like Grayson is capable of loving anyone. I suppose he is. I don't know about loving. He's capable of murdering me. Sure, and me too. Thank God he's away. Where'd he go today? To Sacramento? I think he said, Carson's Pass. I don't know. <laughs> what a place to go. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing around there, except wind and rocks and buzzards. Well, it's none of my business. I'm sure he must know what he's doing. He struck gold in the hills, I suppose. And he wants exclusive <laughs> rights to the mine. I don't know where he is, and I don't want to know. I hope he stays away. You're much better in bed. <laughs> uh, don't tell me you've fallen in love with me. Why not? You wouldn't mind, would you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on? Somebody's already been here. They killed the guards and left the gold. Go get it. You go too. Weighs a ton. Yeah, this here's a big box of gold. Okay, boys, you can all get up now. Happy? <laughs> Come out now, smart guy, and put up your hands. See that pretty face. I'll put a hole in that box and then it'll be your casket. No, if I can't do it, I gotta wait until you come out. 
You're not going to make me waste any more bullets. You hear me? <laughs> you hit the bullseye. Now let me try. <laughs> Come on out, kid. Stretch your legs a little. Looks like a cemetery, don't it? <laughs> you got here just in time. Thanks. I was beginning to get a little hungry in there. We made a pretty big catch. Uh, and the rewards are going to look very nice. Yeah, we'll get something for saving the gold, too. Uh, Grayson's in for a surprise, wouldn't you say? Let's drop in and see him. Uh, first, why don't we see if the sheriff is around? <laughs> Great idea, Ranger. He can't deny the evidence this time, can he? What's keeping him so long, Grayson? They're covering up their tracks. Grayson! Boss! Grayson, what happened? They, they surprised us. We rambushed in the middle of the pass. Somebody must have... Oh! What happened? Somebody must have talked. If I get my hands on the... Kit Johnson was already expecting us. He was. I might have known he'd be there. The bastard. A man named Dollars was there, too. Seems that boy Johnson is a ranger. Uh. A ranger? Porter, this means our plans have been ruined. No, all the other witnesses were shot. Nobody knows who did it. Except you. You made a mistake. By coming back here. <laughs> now there are no witnesses. Take him out. What do you think Johnson would do now? Who told Johnson? I want to know who betrayed us. The sheriff knew. And you, Porter. But, Grayson, I stand to lose more on this than anybody else. Hmm. In that case, you betrayed us, Miss Maple. You've been playing around with Kit Johnson. You betrayed me, you bitch. You told him everything. That's You're not in love true. with him. No. You told him. No. No, I didn't. You told him. You're wrong. worth its weight in gold. What do you mean by this, Johnson? Go to Carson's Pass, Sheriff. And you better take along the undertaker. Why? He brought you a gift. The gold that Grayson tried to steal. Dare you say that about Mr. Grayson? You're nothing less than a bounty killer. How dare you say something so unflattering about a captain? Especially when he's a ranger. Want to show him? Oh. Captain. And now we're getting to the end of this farce. We'll leave the money with you. Come on, boys.
pretty, aren't they? How about unlocking the cell for us? What do you want? Open up. You've got the key. That's it, Sheriff. Fine. Now all you have to do is arrest Lee Grayson. Arrest Grayson? Uh-huh. But there's no proof to warrant my doing such a thing. <laughs> Six of his men lie dead out at Carson's Pass. Is that enough for you? Let's go. But, but Mr. Grayson isn't answerable for the wrongdoing of his men. We might say that you're one of his men, too. What? See? You don't know what to answer to that. We'll give you time to think it over. But... But there's no sense in trying to capture Grayson. His house is like a fort with guards all over the place. Courage is part of your character, isn't it, Sheriff? And this is a good chance to show it. We'll go with you. How bad? But... <laughs> Padre Brown. Padre Brown. Oh. Mabel. Mabel, what happened? <laughs> You never had it so good. You said it. Hey, try not to spend it all in one place. Don't go away. You'll be all right. Have faith, my daughter. Have faith. The doctor will take care of you. Have faith. Kid! Kid! Help me! Mabel! Mabel! Kid! What happened? Who did this to you? How about it? Need any more proof, Sheriff? Grayson did it. Arrest him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Grayson, you better get out of here before it's too late. Nobody's leaving until I say so. They managed to kill six of your men. They've got the money. What more do you want? Drink to my help. You can do as you damn please. I'm getting out. Sorry, Porter, you're staying. <laughs> Couldn't you understand you should do what you're told and keep quiet? We are both in it. It's clear I hope that nobody gets out of this house except for the purpose of killing Kit Johnson and anyone with him. We wait for him here. Make sure you have plenty of ammunition and post yourselves in your usual places. When they get here, I want them to think there's an army waiting to attack them. Let them see you. Oh, 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 oh. 
open the gate. It's me. Hey, open up. It's the sheriff. Close it. Close it immediately. Johnson's out there. Shoot at him. Shoot. you, Captain. Please. No, I'll go the other way. Good luck to you, kid. At your orders. Sample case, Kit. Thanks. in the plague. Lord God have mercy. And may God have mercy on your soul. There's a perfume I think you like. It's called Blast. <laughs> in peace. You too. Mea culpa, mea culpa. 
Hey. <laughs> Two at once, but I'm only looking for one. Johnson. I know that trick. I remember it from way back. I won't take your life. I don't shoot men when they're disarmed. Captain, now do you know where we met? Remember this pistol? I've learned how to use it. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Pull the trigger. Go ahead. That's too easy. I'd much rather have you alive. I've come to arrest you, Grayson. Oh, no, Ranger. If you want these on me, come and put them on me yourself. The man hasn't been born yet, powerful enough to put these handcuffs on my wrists. Just come and try. Him. Yeah, and he won't take up prison space, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Afraid not. But the law says dead or alive, and I always respect the law. Especially when there's money in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kit, what are you going to do with all this reward money? Hmm. You're really worried about that, aren't you? <laughs> chest with you, but remember it's for... What? The railroad. <laughs> A fine way to talk to Christian. Oh, when they put the railroad in, we'll come back and visit you. 
Why don't you stay here, Kit? We need men like you in this town. And Nora needs a man like you for a husband. Uh-huh. How about that? You're joking. I'm not the marrying kind. <laughs> You may not be the marrying kind, but you'd still make a decent husband. Take a month's leave and propose to the girl. Well, all right. If it's an order. <laughs> you could be happy with the range. Right. <laughs> Padre Brown, will you help me? I'm really not cut out to be a husband, but I'll try. <laughs> Don't worry, my son. Trust in the will of the Lord and in your wife. <laughs> So long, Captain. Kit will be waiting for you. Bye.